like Andromeda chained to a rock with you lot hovering over me. I don't know why Mary told you to be here without asking me first. Nor do we. Ah, Denker. Uh, Mr. Murray will be here soon. He's here now, milady. He, he says you're expecting him. Why didn't you tell me? You shouldn't be so untrusting. Ah, have you told them, Lady Grantham? Good. Please. She's told us nothing. Well, that's easily done. I've come into possession of a villa in the south of France. And now I've given it to my great-granddaughter, Sibby. What? So what bit didn't you understand? I don't understand any of it. What villa? Where? This is too extraordinary for any words. It's called La Villa des Colombes, and it's near Toulon. But why was it yours? And why have you never said anything about it? Because I thought it was a joke. Start at the beginning. Years ago, before you were born, I was in France, and I met a man, the Marquis de Montmirail. And he invited me to spend some time at a villa he'd just bought. A year or so later, he wrote to me and said he'd transferred the villa into my name. I never thought he was serious, so I didn't pay any attention. But it wasn't a joke. It seems not. He died recently, and to his widow's alarm, the villa they've been using every winter for years was registered to Lady Grantham. He never changed it. <laughs> now, I'll need some signatures. Oh, yes. Why have you given it to Sibby? Your children are well set up here, and Edith's are more than taken care of, but Brampton will go to a child of Tom and Lucy's, so darling Sybil's only daughter will inherit little, and I wanted to correct that. What family did he have, this Montmirail chap? The widow and a son, the present Marquis. The mother is keen they should take the matter to court. Well, you can't blame her. Why? If her husband wanted me to have the place, who are we to argue? You never thought to turn it down? Do I look as if I'd turned down a villa in the south of France? Mr. Murray. May I ask a favour? Please. I have a task for you. It's all explained in this letter. I'll telephone in a few days in case there are questions. Of course, Lady Grantham. Now, I hear my train calling. Goodbye, Mr. Murray, and thank you. You want me to tell you why he did it, when the truth is, I do not know. And with that, I will say good night and leave you to discuss my mysterious past. Now, Denka, don't steer me. I'm not a racing car. More's the pity. I beg your pardon. It does seem odd. They spend a few days together in the same resort more than 60 years ago, and he gives her a house. I suppose he wasn't just a lunatic. Well, that's what they'll try to prove. Well, I think it's marvellous of Granny to take care of Sibby, even if Monsieur de Montmorin was as mad as a rat. But why did Mama never say a word? As far as she's concerned, she received a very eccentric letter more than half a century ago. She considered it potty at the time and never gave it another thought.